Hi, my name is Kevin Smith. I teach fourth grade at Evergreen Community Charter School in Asheville, North Carolina. And today I want to talk to you about using Google Earth in your classroom, uh, specifically to um, teach your students about area and perimeter. Go ahead to uh, Internet Explorer, whatever browser you typically use, and up in the address bar, type in google.com. I doubt it's the first time you've been to this website. Uh, of course, they have a variety of different software abilities and uh, programs as well. Once you see the familiar search bar, um, go to More, which is just above it. Click on More, and then you get a few other options, Books, Frugal. Click on Even More. And once you click on Even More, you'll be brought to a window with a variety of different icons with all their services. Um, about halfway down on the left, you'll see a round sphere. And it says Earth. Explore the Earth from your PC. Click on Google Earth and there's a spot you can get Google Earth, the free version there, or in the top right. Go ahead and click either of those and then you're going to begin to download Google Earth. Um, sometimes it'll start, start automatically, other times it won't. Um, it just kind of depends on, on how your settings are and cookie settings and all sorts of different things like that. So you're presented with run, save, or cancel. Go ahead and run it, um, and then it's going to begin to download the program. Um, you're basically going to install this program as you would any other. I'm going to cancel out because I already have it. And now we're looking at a really cluttered desktop. Hopefully you can find your new Google Earth um, icon. Double click on it and start up Google Earth. This software is great. My kids absolutely love it. Um, it's a blast to kind of explore all the different areas um, of the world, really. We've explored pyramids, uh, the Louvre, um, our school, White House, Gillette Stadium, where the Patriots play. You're going to see this familiar globe each and every time it starts up. And uh, you see now where the mouse is, uh, places where you can kind of mark different spots. Um, and then the search bar and then the menu bar up top here. Um, and right now I want you to type in um, a place that you're interested in visiting. My students absolutely love the Pentagon in Washington. That was a favorite place for us to do some geometry and discuss um, area and perimeter, as I'll show you soon. So you type in your place, you hit search, and depending on your graphics card, um, as Google Earth flies you to the area that you're searching, um, it will be very pixelated, or it might be blurry and fuzzy, but if you give it a moment, it really kind of straightens itself out and becomes clear again and looks nice. So here we are in Washington. So you can use the scroll wheel on your mouse to kind of zoom in, zoom out. You can grab the photo just by clicking the left mouse button and kind of dragging it around. And I'm going to show you how to do the area and perimeter. Go to Tools. And then down in Tools, it says Measure. Click on that. And then go ahead and simply click on a corner of a building, and then drag it, and then click again. And you'll see the length of the line right there. And I'll show you this again. Again, there's the length of the line and the unit of measurement. In the drop-down menu, you can select a variety of different units of measurement. They have centimeters, meters, yards, feet, inches. Um, and one other that I hadn't heard of until I did a search of it. Um, so again, you go to measure, click on that, and then, uh, there we go. And then you can, you know, adjust the unit of measurement that you would like. Um, and you just point in one corner of the building, and then drag it to the next. And you can kind of go all the way around the building here so we could talk to my students about perimeter. This is our school. And they really get a kick out of it when they see their own building. Um, they're looking for cars in the parking lot. And of course, of course these photos aren't updated or in real time. Um, but, but it is really familiar to them. And they absolutely love it. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope you use Google Earth in your classroom. Got to make learning fun. Absolutely. Thanks.